Mars is already preparing for colonization. Can you imagine living there? Or what about you, living on a planet more distant and with more severe conditions? Yes, our bodies are not adapted to the conditions of this place, so to walk we would need to leave spacesuits. However, as time goes by, our bodies will begin to change and adapt to the conditions of this place. Metallic skin, tentacles and tail. What other incredible characteristics would the distant descendants of the colonizers be able to acquire? Guys, this is our Wikipedia Plus channel. And to find out this, let's visit them now. It's time for us to start our video. Mercury. First, let's assume that we are going to move from the Sun and land in Mercury. This planet, because it is closer to the Sun, is exposed to seven times more radiation than the Earth. This is a planet that resembles a gigantic forge. At times, it melts all the metals on the surface at a temperature of 430 degrees Celsius, and in others, it flees at minus 180 degrees. Nothing can resist these sudden changes. Even robots would have to be made only with metals that do not melt easily, like titanium. To survive on a planet like this, colonizers would need to develop a layer resistant to the heat under the skin. Perhaps the flexible human body can learn to melt titanium for this purpose. In this case, we would find people with thick skin and metallic shine, almost like cyborgs. Metals strengthen bones. People would have a lower, more robust trunks and would accumulate layers of fat, making them more resistant to extreme temperature changes. In contrast, Mercury's gravity is 38% lower than Earth's gravity, making arms and legs thinner and more flexible. Oh! Don't forget, when you find local mutants, you will need powerful sunglasses. In Mercury, sunlight can literally burn your eyes. Venus. The conditions in Venus are even more severe. Venus is also very close to the Sun and is covered by an extremely dense atmosphere that retains heat. The colonizers of Venus would be grilled in an oven at 465 degrees Celsius and crushed by rolls of tremendous atmospheric pressure. Under these conditions, people would gradually become low and robust. Finding them would give the impression of seeing aliens in spacesuits. The colonizers would be covered by a thick and silver skin that would easily reflect heat and radiation. In addition, their bodies would need to develop ways to protect themselves from sulfuric acid, which is abundant in the atmosphere of Venus. This is extremely difficult and, in general, you can see that the colonization of Mercury and Venus may not be the best decision. Mars. The conditions in Mars are different. Mars, which is next to Earth, is currently considered the ideal place for colonization. Elon Musk is already preparing to send the first colonizers to Mars. As their descendants will be, they will be of orange color. This is not because of the endless air storms, no. Unlike Earth, ultraviolet radiation in Mars is much more intense. This will change the protective function of the skin. The simplest solution is to consume large amounts of carotene, which is abundant in orange-colored vegetables. Therefore, the inhabitants of Mars would be used to eating carrots and peppers constantly. The excessive consumption of carotene over time will leave the colonizer's skin orange. We will see giant oranges that follow rigorous diets. Even though they are very tall, they will be as thin as a stretched rubber. Mars' gravity is a third of Earth's gravity. A robust person of 100 kilos will feel like weighing 33 kilos. The body will stretch and the bones and muscles will begin to atrophy. On the other hand, with the reduction of energy consumption, they will save on food costs. In addition, being tall, they will perceive in advance the violent sandstorms that occur frequently on Mars. The eyes will also help with this. Mars has less light than Earth, which will improve vision. In addition, tears will become similar to adhesive, protecting the eyes from dust. Jupiter. The more we get away from the Sun, the worse the conditions become. On the outside of Mars is Jupiter, but to be frank, this planet is not suitable for colonization. This gigantic gas planet doesn't even have a solid surface. But in the future, it will be possible to create colonies in dense fog with little visibility. Instead of walking as usual, we would have to glide in the clouds of gas. Over time, 
the bone mineral density would decrease and the height of people would decrease. However, the muscles would strengthen to withstand the tremendous atmospheric pressure of Jupiter. It would not be possible to get to know the colonizers well were asked how it is to live in Jupiter. In an environment full of gas, all sound waves are nullified, so it would not be possible to talk here. If you see or hear anything, over time, human eyes and ears would degenerate. Saturn Saturn is no different from the gigantic neighboring planet. This gigantic gas planet also does not have a solid surface. It is extremely cold here, with strong winds, making it difficult to even stand up. Saturn's average density is smaller than that of water, so it is likely that colonizers who resemble living waters are waiting for us. Uranus. One day in Uranus is quite unpredictable. The period of rotation of Uranus is only 17 hours. However, this planet is inclined in a strange way, rolling along its orbit. Therefore, on the side that does not receive sunlight, the night lasts more than a year and a half, and during this period it is incredibly cold. Colonizers would adapt to the environment, gradually improving their night vision and developing a thick and blue skin. It is as if they were completely frozen to death. But do not worry, for them this is normal. The blue pigment, although partially, will protect the environments of Uranus from intense radiation. Neptune Neptune also has a gaseous structure, but there must be a solid surface somewhere inside it. Neptune is a little warmer than Uranus, but in any case it is an extremely cold planet. Here, gravity is stronger than on Earth, making people feel heavier. However, they still could not stand up due to the tremendous winds that blow on this planet. To adapt to these conditions, what kind of changes would the human body need to suffer? Probably in Neptune, humans would develop aerodynamic waves and would float with amphibians, and the most convenient way would be to float in the gaseous layers of the atmosphere driven by the wind. Pluto. The non-Pluton planet, very far from the Sun, however, is not the worst place for colonizers, no. Under this surface of ice, there is an ocean full of water, which is extremely necessary for human beings. However, Pluto's gravity is so weak that it is very difficult to stay on the surface. If you jump towards the basket basket, you and the ball will be thrown into space. Over time, the colonizer's body would adopt a pyramid shape to maintain stability. Pressing the hand of a miniature version of the tomb of an ambulant pharaoh would be an incredible experience, right? exoplanets. With that we finished the solar system, but now let's go a little further, towards exoplanets. Astronomers already know more than 5,000 exoplanets, and most of them are probably not the most ideal places for humans. For example, there is a planet called Kepler-20b, which is two times larger than Earth and ten times heavier. The gravity of this planet is three times greater than that of Earth. In this world, people would be lower, more robust, would have thick skin or armor and many members. Can you imagine a pancake dressed in armor and with several legs? They probably wouldn't get close to us, but that doesn't mean they're being neglected. Probably due to gravity, they would crawl or roll slowly on the surface. On planets with elongated orbits, there would also be extreme seasonal variations. During unfavorable seasons, people would hibernate or enter a state of suspended animation. Distant exoplanets are very diverse, offering infinite possibilities for human. The Anti-Bonus Black Hole But at the end of our journey we have a small anti-bonus. It is a black hole. According to scientists, there is nothing inside the most powerful monster and there is also no strong force. There are many places to build colonies. However, it will not be possible to conquer this void and living there. No one can surpass the event horizon, the imaginary border of the black hole. There, the tremendous gravity of the monster would instantly stretch the human body, turning it into spaghetti. Turning Italian food into a black hole would be a total waste, right? Thus, in any celestial body we visit, what awaits us are challenges and possibilities of living. We can only imagine how the conditions of distant planets would affect human appearance. But it is fun to imagine the various ways that human beings could take, right? If you like this video, leave a like and share it with your friends on your social networks. Thank you for watching until the end, a big hug and until our next video here on the channel.